Chapter 7 Look for the beauty in frogs. It is not what happens to you in life that determines how you feel. It is how you respond to what happens. It is not the frogs in your life but the way that you deal with those frogs. Two people may have same experience but one will rise above it. Let it go and get on with life. The other person will be crushed angry, resentful and unhappy for an extended period of time. Same event, two different reactions. In the book, A Course in Miracles, Helen Schoeman and William Tedford say, You give meaning to everything you see. This means that nothing contains any emotion, positive or negative, except for the emotion you put into it by the way you think about it. Make a Decision the fastest way to transform a negative to a positive and to free yourself from the unhappy experiences of the past is to resolve to see your past in a different way. As soon as you practice the law of substitution and exchange a positive thought for a negative thought, your emotions change almost instantly. Wayne Dyer, the spiritual writer, once said, it's never too late to have a happy childhood. In other words, by revising your interpretation of the unhappy experiences you had as a child, you can turn them from bad to good, from depression to elevating, and begin seeing your childhood in a totally new and positive way. Have a happy childhood. Imagine that somewhere on the far side of the universe, long before you were born, you were a soul and you were able to search over the earth and select your next parents. Imagine that you chose your parents deliberately so that you could experience the trials and tribulations of a child growing up in that family because that was the only way you could learn, evolve and grow into a better person. When you play with this idea, and look back at your childhood experiences, you will see your childhood differently. You will begin to identify the lessons you learned from each problem or difficulty you had while you were growing up. By accepting that you chose your family yourself, you begin to reinterpret your experiences as positive and educational rather than negative or hurtful. Think of the impact your parents have had on you. Can you identify how your parents' treatment of you caused the development of your greatest strengths and brought out your best qualities? Never complain, never explain. Many people spend decades complaining about what their parents did or did not do to or for them when they were growing up. For example, when Brand was his, in his early 30s and was out on a date with a young woman, over dinner he started to complain about his father and how unkind and critical he had been when Brand was growing up. The young woman quite intelligently listened for a while and then stopped him and asked Bran, Are you happy to be alive? He said, of course, I really enjoy my life. She said, well, your father got you here, so stop complaining. Brian was momentarily stunned and then he realized that she was right. From that day forward, he has never complained about his father or his childhood again. He realized that if he was happy to be alive, he had no right to criticize the people who brought him into the world. You can do the same. Whatever your parents did or didn't do, they got you here. They gave you the greatest gift of all, your life. You can always be grateful to them for that. The Great Power Imagine out in the universe a great power that loves you and wants the very best of you. This great power wants you to be happy, healthy and fulfilled. This great power wants you to be successful and prosperous. This great power also knows that you can rise to greater heights of happiness, joy and success only by learning certain essential lessons along the way. This power also knows that you have a perverse nature you will not learn unless the lesson hurts. You cannot learn deeply from reading, watching or observing the experiences of others. You can learn only when you feel pain. 
physical, emotional or financial. A perfect example is the way people approach their health. Most of the time, people continue unthinkingly eating what is good and choosing not to exercise. Not until they are stuck with some kind of physical ailment or disease do they change their health habits and start eating more nourishing foods and taking better care of their bodies. The lessons you need to learn. Therefore, to teach you train you and guide you toward your higher good this great power sends you lessons each accompanied by pain so that you will listen and pay attention napoleon hill once said every problem or difficulty you face contains the seed of an equal or greater advantage or benefit your job is to keep focused on the potential advantage or benefit and keep your mind off the parts of the situation that make you angry or unhappy think of the biggest failures you have experienced in your life what are the most important lessons you learned from each of them how have these lessons helped you make better choices and decisions especially what advantages and benefits have come to you as a result of what you learnt. Think about your problems today. Next, think about all the problems that you have in your life right now. Imagine that your problems are like a stack of dinner plates with your smallest problems on the bottom and your biggest single worry or concern on the top of the stack. Now, imagine that this major problem contains a gift in the form of a lesson that you need to learn so that you can be happier and more successful in the future. What is that lesson? One of the most powerful ways to turn negatives into positives, to turn frogs into princes, is to seek the valuable lesson in every problem or difficulty you encounter. If you examine any setback or difficulty, you will always find at least one lesson and sometimes many lessons. As Emane Fox once wrote, Great souls learn great lessons from small problems. You can also use this concept as you approach future challenges or situations that scare you. Trying something new always has an element of fear and anxiety that comes with taking that risk. At one time, Christina was considering being the head of a committee focusing on an issue she felt passionate about. She really wanted to take on the responsibility but was terrified that it would involve public speaking. A good friend told her that she should do it, saying that she would gain rare experiences and develop new skills to use in future endeavors. This advice changed Christina's perspective of fear, a potential failure and encouraged her to take on the challenge. The lesson you are meant to learn. When you think about your biggest problem today, which probably involves another person, ask yourself, what is the lesson that I am meant to learn from this problem or difficulty? Your first answer will likely be simple and superficial. You may say, maybe I should do more of this or less of that. But now comes the most important part. You then ask yourself the key question, what else am I meant to learn in this situation? This question forces you to drill down deeper. This time, the lesson will be more important and significant, if not more painful. Perhaps you need to start doing something different or stop doing something altogether. Then you ask again, what else is the lesson that I am meant to learn? You drill even deeper. As you continue asking this question, the lessons will become more and more relevant and painful. Finally, if you have been wrestling with this major problem for a long time, you will reach the real lesson that you are meant to learn. It is usually that you need to change, get out of or eliminate the situation altogether. Many times we find, find ourselves repeating the same scenario. We have the same issues at work regardless of the job. We have the same struggles in our relationships even when the partners change. Not until you dig deep and become aware of these patterns can you really change. One of the biggest goals in therapy is for people to gain an awareness of these patterns and then figure out what role they are playing in repeating these patterns. For example, we may have had a negative experience when we were younger. Something about that experience remains unresolved and sticks in our minds. We fail to learn the lesson it contains and subconsciously set up the situations to repeat the experience and finally learn the lesson we were supposed to learn. Control your ego. 
when you finally realize the lesson contained in your unhappy situation your ego immediately intervenes as a result you avoid facing the situation you practice denial hoping that somehow the situation will get better or go away when in your heart you know that it never will when you find the courage to face the truth about your situation and take the necessary actions dictated by that truth something wonderful will happen all your stress will disappear you will feel calm and relaxed you will feel happy and at peace when you face the truth the real lesson you are meant to learn the problem will be resolved even before you take the first step change your vocabulary One of the fastest ways to switch your mind from negative to positive whenever something goes wrong is to change your vocabulary. For example, instead of the word problem, use the word situation. Problem is negative. It immediately conjures up images of loss, delay, and inconvenience, but situation is neutral. When you say we have an interesting situation here, no negative emotional charge is attached to the word. As a result, you remain calm clear and more capable of dealing with whatever situation might be and even better word is challenge instead of reacting to a difficulty as if it were a problem or personal attack on you or your business instead say we have an interesting challenge to deal with here a challenge in something that you rise to it brings out the best in you it is positive and uplifting we look forward eagerly to challenges because they cause us to stretch and become even better by overcoming them the best word of all in describing a problem is opportunity instead of thinking about the problems or difficulties from now on talk about the unexpected setbacks in your life as challenges or opportunities an opportunity is something that we all want and look forward to eagerly when you use this new your vocabulary you will be amazed at how many of your greatest opportunities first appear as problems and difficulties problems are inevitable and unavoidable no matter how hard you try to avoid them your life will be an endless series of problems difficulties and challenges of all kinds they come ceaselessly like the waves of the ocean the only inter- interruption in this endless series of problems will be the occasional crisis if you are living an active life you will probably have a crisis every 2 to 3 months it may be a physical crisis financial crisis a family crisis or a personal crisis by its very nature crisis comes unbidden It is not an anticipated reversal or setback that you can prepare for. The only question is that how do you respond to the crisis, effectively or ineffectively? If each person has a crisis of some kind every two or three months, this means that as you read this book, you are in a crisis right now. You have just gotten out of a crisis, or you are just about to have a crisis. Your job is to take a deep breath when the crisis occurs, keep calm. look for the good seek the valuable lesson and then take action to reduce or minimize the crisis now look on the bright side the more you think about what you want and where you are going the more positive and optimistic you remain optimism does not mean that you ignore problems or difficulties but you choose to approach them positively and constructively in changing your thinking put a positive spin on anything in your life that might make you feel unhappy for any reason look for this silver lining to the cloud as a merchant said when it is the darkest men see the stars zero based thinking many people suffer from worry and anxiety continually often this behavior is learned from a parent who was also a worrier fortunately as many as 90% 99% of the things that you worry about never happen in fact the situations that you never thought to worry about are what cause most of your unhappiness an effective way to eliminate worry and negative feelings is to practice zero based thinking in every area of your life ask yourself is there anything that i am doing in my life that knowing what i know now, now i wouldn't start up again today if i had it to do over it takes tremendous courage and character to admit that you made a mistake that you changed your mind and that you wouldn't get into the situation again if you had it to do over based on what you now know 
people hang on to the idea that once they have uh, committed themselves to something they must see it through at all cost but as emerson said a foolish consistency is the hobgoblin of little minds it is a strength not a weakness to admit that you did not make the right decision you should always retain the right to change your mind based on new information once you have determined that you would not get into that situation again your next question is how do i get out and how fast can i do it as soon as you decide to take action to resolve a difficulty or to get out of a bad situation your stress disappears the inaction caused by indecisiveness is what generates most of the stress about the situation when your course becomes clear you feel a tremendous sense of relief think positively and constructively you have an extraordinary mind it can make you happy or sad depending on the way you use it as john milton said in his poem paradise lost the mind in in its own place and in itself can make a heaven of hell a hell of heaven resolve today to use this wonderful mind of yours to think in a positive and constructive way about who you are what you want and where you are going from this moment on refuse to interpret situations in a negative way instead look for the good and seek the valuable lesson in every setback and difficulty approach each problem as if they were a challenge or opportunity most of all get so busy working on accomplishing the goals that are important to you that you don't have time for worry or concern seek and you will find The average self-made millionaire in America has been broke or nearly broke two or more times before finally becoming wealthy. But the reason that he became a millionaire was because of the lessons he learned in his earlier mistakes. If he had not failed in business at an earlier age, he would never have developed the knowledge and wisdom necessary to succeed later. His bankruptcy was traumatic at the time, but it contained the seeds of future health or wealth. Many people go through a bad marriage or relationship that ends with anger bitterness and negative feelings later on they meet the ideal mate settle down and are happy for the rest of their lives many happily married people look back at an earlier negative relationships as being essential to their recognizing the good relationship when it came along they admit that if they had stayed in that bad relationship they would have been miserable for months or even years suffering and pain humans seem to learn only from suffering pain is inevitable and unavoidable but what is really unfortunate is when people experience the pain but fail to identify the lesson that goes with it which makes it far more likely that they will repeat the mistake that led to the pain this is especially true about the way people treat their health often people won't invest much time and effort into taking care of themselves until they are diagnosed with an illness or suffer from chronic pain since change is inevitable and unavoidable whenever you have a reversal of any kind you can neutralize your feelings toward it by saying i see the angel of god in every change or everything happens for a reason look up and change has a blessing containing ideas insights and advantages that you can use to create an even more wonderful life in the future resistance and acceptance Resistance of any kind is a major source of stress, negativity and even depression. The opposite of resistance is acceptance. It is important for you to accept that a change has taken place in your life and then move on. One of the great rules for success is to accept things that have happened and that you cannot change. Accepting a fact as a reality is the first step to take charge of yourself and your emotions and then moving on to something higher and better the inability to get over a bad situation is a major block that holds people back often for many years one of the mar- marks of maturity is to accept that you are not perfect that you make mistakes you have made bad choices and decisions in the past that have led to bad results and consequences so has everyone else no regrets no blaming it is said that a psychiatrist with 25 years of experience once told the journalist eb while that the most common words he heard at the beginning of a period of emotional counseling were if only 
telling the stories of their tragedies and long term unhappiness his client said if only i had not taken that action made the decision accepted the job invested in that company or married that person unfortunately regret over mistakes we have made in the past often holds us back from taking advantage of the opportunities in the future one of the great secrets of happiness is to eliminate the words if only from your vocabulary accept that whatever happened has happened and cannot be changed perhaps it was unfortunate but it is over and done with it is a part of the past it is a fact it cannot be changed one of the most popular sayings of 2010 was the expression it is what it is this should be your motto as well accept the situation and then move on think about the future inevitably undesirable changes will take place in your life and work when they do accept responsibility focus on the future and get busy solving your problems and achieving your goals william james and harvard said be willing to have it show acceptance of what has happened is the first step to overcoming the situations of misfortune remind yourself that you are not a victim you are a proud confident self-reliant person in a complete charge of your life and your future refuse to wallow in regret or remorse about changes that have happened that you cannot control gain or loss The greatest motivation in life is the desire for gain. The second major motivation is the fear of loss. According to psychologists, people fear loss too and half times more inten- intensely than they desire gain. They may be motivated to a certain degree to achieve a gain, but they are absolutely devastated when they suffer a loss. If you have a happy relationship, a good job or a stable financial situation and you lose it for any reason you can find yourself immersed in grief and regret often for many months or even years you need to remember that you were all right before you had what you lost and you will be all right again in the future without it accept the reality of the situation whatever it is refuse to resist or fight against it stop feeling sorry for yourself and telling yourself that if only you had done something different this on fortunate event would have never happened accept the loss as a sunk cost cost in accounting one of the costs that are entered into a balance sheet is a sunk cost an amount of money that has been spent and is now gone forever it is non recoverable like advertising cost or purchases of equipment that are now obsolete you may have sunk cost in your life as well you will often invest large sums of time money and emotion in people jobs and investments but an expected setbacks and difficulties occur and your investment turns out to have been wasted instead of throwing good money after bad investing more time and emotion in a bad relationship or spending more time on something that obviously has no chance of success you must accept that what you have invested up to now is a sunk cost and resolve to let it go it is lost forever when you develop the strength of character to say i was wrong i made a mistake i have changed my mind you will find it much easier to let go of unfortunate events that have occurred and simply accept them as normal and natural part of your personal growth and development now do this select a problem or challenge you are dealing with in your life today look into it for something good that you can gain and a valuable lesson that it contains think about the worst possible outcome resolve to accept it should it occur and then get busy doing everything possible to make sure that it doesn't happen